This video is sponsored by Topayo Vets. On 7th of October 2015, Dr. Singh visited Hintara in Myanmar. Myanmar has a population of 50 million and is 677,000 square kilometers in size. 87.9% of Myanmar's population is Buddhist. Dr. Singh went to Myanmar to donate to a school. He believes education is important, thus he is donating to the school. Education brings many benefits such as reducing poverty, fostering peace and making people healthier. As Myanmar is a big country, there are over 40,000 schools in Myanmar. Thus, many schools require donations in order to continue operations. 25.6% of Myanmar's population lives below the poverty line. Houses are made of wood and asbestos. Asbestos is a material which causes cancer when inhaled. There is severe flooding as Hintara is located in the Irrawaddy Delta which suffers from flooding during the monsoon season, which is from June to October. Many of the houses are flooded and the people have poor living conditions. Many people died as diseases such as cholera and typhoid fever were able to spread. Improving their education will allow them to get jobs, which will allow them to earn money and break out of the poverty cycle. This, this enables them to improve their standard of living and their health will naturally improve as well. Thus, Dr. Singh believes education is important and this is why he is donating to them. These are the village villagers. Yeah. See the boy brushing the teeth on the boat there? On boat. They can take the boat to school? Yeah. Some students take boats to school due to the floods. There's a river there, is it? There's a river? A uh, river, riverside. Riverside, yeah. Riverside. The house is on the riverside. The riverside. Yeah. yeah, so that's why flooding. So now we're going to another monastery. Monasteries are common in Myanmar as 87.9% of Myanmar's population is Buddhist. Oh, the school is there, there. Mm. The school. The school. Primary school? Uh, primary school. Mm, one, yeah, one, school. 165 students. Yeah. yeah. The village school. Uh, it's government school? Yeah, it's government school. Mm. Government primary school. Yeah. This is a new government primary school in Hintara, Myanmar. The teachers are waiting to welcome the benefactors as this is part of their culture. The Educate the Child Foundation organized this donation to the school. These are head monks of two monasteries. The head monks of the monasteries are the link between benefactors and the recipients. Other benefactors and friends of Dr. Singh include Dr. Tin Tin So, Dr. Tin's mother, and Dr. Tin's cousin. Government school. Dr. Tin donated some money to fund the school. The school needed a water tank as students currently got water from the well and the water is unfiltered and contaminated. Dr. Singh donated a water tank to the school. The water tank had a filtration system as well. Water from the well is pumped and filtered into the water tank. The students now have clean water, which reduces the risk of them falling sick. To show their gratitude, Dr. Singh's name was printed on the water tank. Outside, outside, yeah. Classroom. 165 students from grades 1 to 5 share the same classroom. The students are greeting the monks and benefactors. It's a classroom. One of the benefactors had donated life jackets for the children who travelled to school by boat. Dr. Tintinso donated two exercise books and a packet of soft drink to 165 students in the school. Donations of books and drink. 
The donations are given out by Dr. Tin Tin So and the head monk. As can be seen, the students are extremely happy and grateful to receive the donations. A good education is necessary for the students to improve themselves. Tiffin carriers for students who brought their own lunch to school were donated as well. Tradition is to have this tanaka. The white substance on their faces is oh, tanaka. tanaka. Tanaka is facial cosmetic in Myanmar culture. Facial cosmetic. Dr. Singh approaches a girl to strike up a conversation. Hello. However, the girl is very quiet. Hello. Writers of the preschool. Great one. Blackboards are used. Students are thanking the monks again. The quiet girl is crying. Dr. Tin goes over to find out why. The girl is crying as she did not receive the books. This is because the teachers felt the books would be better used by other students. Thus, she was not given the books. To conclude, those who are successful in life should contribute back to society. A small amount can go a long way in helping these children. As a proverb once said, Give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, he'll eat for life. Thank you for your kind attention. For more information, you can call one of these numbers or visit one of the websites. Thank you for your kind attention.